key of the clarifier is it's not about the vulnerability of countries but it is rather about diversifying the western defense against the diverse attack that could be launched by the east which includes biological warfare and cyber warfare because on your best case you claim you have exclusivity to global peace because of the extra effort given by other countries but in reality this exclusivity doesn't actually exist either way even if we get global security just against um, we, we get global security just gets a more diverse range of threats the budgets are set as per a country's funds so the point of not having enough money is no excuse also this issue of budgeting is only considering a minority because the spending power and the currency value for most of native countries is going strong if that is to exclude the minority graduate collaboration system something like that i like to ask you this the motion does not in any way ask you to define some new defense spending strategies it really uh, it really states the world that they want you to the motion wants you to support is the world that we are currently living in defense among the members of nato so if you are aiming at collective defense please understand that it's one nation is unable to meet the expectations are unable to meet the organization's defense spending targets it is the responsibility the sole responsibility of the other member nations to help that member nation to meet to meet and reach its targets rather than expelling them in the very first place a very contradictory point again that is to be noted and these gentlemen they talked about how this is disrupting trust among member nations if a country is unable to meet its target again very contradictory ladies and gentlemen because we need to understand what this what is disrupting trust in today's debate is expelling the member